One of the most evil problems I've ever seen on a released exam is this one right here. The vertices of a triangle are at 0, 0, 6, 6, and 9, 3. What is the volume in cubic units of the figure created by rotating the triangle about line y equals x? Whoa, what? Okay. Um, I'm going to graph this one, but I'm going to graph it on paper. And I'm going to graph it on paper so I can really draw what I need to draw and help you visualize what you need to visualize. So let's, let's do it. Now, can you do it on Desmos? It's, yeah... Yeah, but not with an explanation. So uh, I'm going to graph it, and you will get graph paper like this on your exam. So there's the x-axis, and here is the y-axis. There we go. And they gave us three coordinates. Let me grab a better marker. I'm going to grab this Sharpie right here. Zero, zero. Not bleeding through, Emma. Hopefully not. I've had this little table longer than y'all been in the world, so I need to keep it. Put some paper underneath it. Zero, zero, six, six, and nine, three. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, three. There we go. And we're going to rotate this around the line y equals x. Whoa, what's the line y equals x? Don't, don't think too hard. You got this. Y equals x. We're used to rotating things around the x-axis or the y-axis, but we're rotating it around this line. That line has a slope of 1 over 1 and a y-intercept of 0. So we're going to rotate it here. That's what we're going to do. So let's keep going. I want to rotate this thing, and I'm going to rotate it around that line right there. And when I do, um, it is going to form, well, a cone. A cone? How is it a cone? Well, this little thing comes out this way, and it's going to go swinging around. So there's going to be a like a circular piece here. Let me, uh, I'm trying to draw this as best as I can. A little circular piece, and it's just going to swing around. And then you're going to have this part. There's your cone right there. Now, see why I'm not doing this on Desmos. You're rotating this that triangle, and it's spinning around. So in order to find the volume of a cone, I need, well, the volume of a cone. And the volume of a cone is this. I'm going to be going back and forth between papers here. One-third pi r squared times h. Okay, so one-third pi r squared times h. And I need to know what r is, and I need to square it, and I need to know what h is. Okay. Oops, I don't know why I put H there. Let me grab my white out. There's some white out. It better. You better work white out. We're going to have some words here in a minute. All right, so I need to know what R is. I need to know what H is. And I'm going to go back to my graph and look at it. Now I'm smudging things everywhere. It's just tragic. Okay, let's find the radius. The radius is this distance right here. This distance right here goes from this coordinate to this coordinate. Well, you know what? I'm going to switch colors one more time. Let me grab this uh, purple pen right here. I need to know this distance. Struggling with markers and pens today. This little distance right here, I don't know it, but I can find it with the Pythagorean theorem right there. See it? See that 3, 3? All right, so here goes. 3... 3, and then this, and that's technically the radius. So 3 squared plus 3 squared equals r squared. So uh, here goes. Oh, wrong paper. Boy, I'm struggling, aren't I? 3, 3, r. So 3 squared plus 3 squared equals r squared. So 9, 9, 18 equals r squared. So r is the square root of 18. If you want to be real honest with it about the whole thing, you could just say, well, r was already squared. You could plug in 18 in this whole thing. Otherwise, you could plug in square root of 18. I need to know what the height is. And the height is this distance right here. It's this one. Da, 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 da. And that distance, let's use the Pythagorean theorem there as well. Here's a triangle. And this triangle has a base of 6 and a height of 6. And therefore... The hypotenuse will be the height of this uh, cone. So 6, 6, and h. So 6 squared plus 6 squared equals h squared. So 36 and 36, 72. 
equals h squared. So the height is the square root of 72. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that a little bit because let's be real honest, 72 is really 36 times two. All right, we're simplifying. Why are you doing that? Because I'm kind of looking ahead. I'm looking at answers and they have the square root of two in there. I better get a square root of two out of this somehow. Why didn't I do it here? Because I'm about to square a square root. They're about to cancel. Sometimes it helps to look ahead. So I have six square root of two. That is my height, six square root of two. All right, so six square root of two goes here and we are actually ready to proceed with this problem. So I have uh, one third pi times the square root of 18 squared, that'd be 18, times six square root of two. This cleans up so nicely. Um, one third of 18 is six. And I have a pi. I went ahead and divided that into that and got six. And I have six square root of two and six times six. We all know what that is. And there's a pi and there's a square root of two. And that is the answer.